be in charge of the uh, the Flint Flint Pack party. Uh, first of all, it's a legacy because it's my grandfather who created. After that, he led it to my father, and now I cannot leave the party like this. You know, so I took over the party. So I'm doing, trying my best. I know that it's uh, it's very hard for me. Trust me, it's very very hard. For me. You know, it's it's very difficult because um, my. I never done politics before, and my father. I always been away from the politics for a long time, and I don't need to do politics, to be honest with you. And um, but the thing is, um, I took over the party. Um, I'm a hard worker, so I'm just trying to find the way. I mean, the best way to make a big success, success of it. You know, I mean, a lot of people are saying that, uh, yeah, uh, your highness. Uh, I mean, uh, if you lose and uh, what's going to happen, I say, I'm here to work and not to lose already. If you are here, you're doing a job, it's to win. It's not to lose. Because then what, there's no point. Restructuring thing, managing thing, it is my stuff. It is something that I do every day. It is something I've been doing, you know, for the big companies. Managing people, managing projects. And this it is something that I do. So. I know that politics is completely different because politics is, is not somebody that you pay and make it the work, the job done. The politics, you know, the members here, it's the reason why I'm trying to them again. You join a party because you like the party and you like the head of the party. You are not joining the party because somebody forced you or buy you. Until when you start to buy people, this is when you go wrong. Everything goes wrong. You have to balance. I'm very careful on everything I'm doing, and uh, uh, it's really why when you ask me uh, how many uh, seats you're expecting, I don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, every day there's people joining us, there's some people leaving us, so we don't know, actually. So I think the, uh, uh, I think the, the election will be a surprise for everyone. But I think the, uh, I have a good team now, um, not enough, but a good team already. And we have a lot of support uh, from uh, from the youth, especially. And um, we'll see. Uh, I know the problems. I reform most of it, but I didn't reform 100% of the system yet. But uh, because I got short term, short term, you know, it yeah. was short. Everything we were been running all the way. It's not easy. I mean, I told you, I'm new. Um, I have to take care of a party which is even below zero. It's very hard. I don't know the people, you know. I'm not like my father. My father is—he—he uh, mm. he knows everyone in a, no, in a party. No, no. Me, I just like dropping in, in the party and don't know no one who I can trust, who I can work work with, with no budget, you know. And uh, it's like it's—it's—it's uh, 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 it's, it's not easy at all. So you have to think. You have to to organize a different way. And you, you do have to do the, for example, for the election, you have to think different way, di differently, you know. It's really why, for example, I, um, when you go, you follow me in the province. I'm never on the on the stage. I prefer to be with the people. I never do like three thousand or five thousand people. It's useless for me because the most important thing is people need to know me. I have to talk to them. Now, let's go and talk to them, asking them. But then I say, you know, I don't ask you to vote for me. But I want you to to vote it right. The way, the right way. So you want people to go to the polling station and they cast a ballot? No, I mean, they decide for who they want to vote. I didn't ever push, you know. I give them the freedom to decide. For who they are, they are, they are, they are, they are voting.